Praise God, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will be rejoice and we will be glad in it. I'm just so glad that we are back here again. We are here to have our, our live prayer service with COVID-19 going on. You all can probably see the shadows from my window. I just wanted the sun to just shine in on me because uh, we haven't had too many sunny days here in Seattle, Washington. So um, I'm just so excited that you've decided to join in with us this week. I want to give honor to uh, my parents uh, It is now uh, six o'clock. I hope everyone has had a chance to uh, join in. It is now um, 6 o'clock uh, p.m. in Seattle, Washington. I'm so glad that you can join us. I want to give honor uh, to my parents, Bishop Emeritus Nathaniel Davis Sr. and my mother, Dr. Addie B. Davis. And I just thank you for all the great work that you've done because I cannot do what I do without um, what the things that you have done throughout the years and throughout this ministry. So I love you. I keep seeing that little shadow there and there, but that'll be all right. So um, today we are just so excited. We are going to have um, just some prayer and I, I'm grateful for all of the responses that we had last week that um, I had my, my cousin Reva from Detroit, Michigan and people from um, all over that have just enjoyed the service and glad that you all are, are able to join us. Oh, hi, Jackie, my neighbor's on. I'm just so happy uh, to see Jackie Hardy. How you doing? And uh, some of you don't know, Jackie Hardy and I, we went to high school together. And uh, we have just been in, in the faith of God. She's been in many choirs and we've sang all over. So I just thank God for her. And I thank God for um, just all of you. And brother, uh, Sister Carol Diggs, thank you for joining in. I'm so excited uh, that you all are here. We're in for a good time. I do have a word for you this evening that the Lord had, has given me. And we're going to share that in a moment, you know, especially with uh, COVID-19 and the shut-in. And, and we're saying, oh my God, what is this? What is going on? God, what are you trying to say? Um, I do have a word to encourage you that even during this time of shut in, during this time that people have lost their jobs, um, don't know how, how even the rent was due April 1st, rent's not due. But I want you to know that even in spite of all of this, even in spite of, of all this chaos, we can still find peace in God, that we still can find rest in him. And uh, as everyone is coming on, what you can do is um, uh, is go ahead and if you want to share this with uh, some of your, your friends, uh, let them know that we are on. Uh, my mother's going to be um, uh, watching as well, so I got to make sure I'm on my best behavior. So um, if you all can join, and, I, and, and hopefully, I'm hoping that next week we'll be able to move over. Um, I have a Zoom account. I want to um, do something with that, and maybe Jackie, she can play her, the keyboard next week on Zoom, and we'll, we'll coordinate that. That would be awesome. So next week, we're going to move uh, over to Zoom. So right now, if you all, we're going to sing um, a praise and worship. We're going to do As the Deer, and I want you all to just go ahead and sing along. I'm going to give a word, and then we're going to pray, and if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and send those in. So right now, we're going to do um, As the Deer. So let's just do some worship. I know you're in your homes, you're in shut-in, but I want you to know that we can still worship. We can still worship God. Amen? All right, look at that line in there. That's all right. We're going to sing. i uh -huh. 
simply be in the lap of the living. I had shared last week that I would share my testimony um, that I actually experienced all of the um, symptoms of COVID-19. I had the fever. I had the muscle um, aches. I had the sickness. I had no appetite. And um, I had gone to the clinic first and they didn't know. They just said I had influenza. I had the flu. And so when I went to the clinic, I went home and just continued to experience sickness and it literally felt like I was going out of here. It felt like I was, was dying and um, there's no feeling in the world than to feel like that you are going out of here. There's no help for you and, and so I wasn't getting better and I ended up going back to the clinic. I went to the clinic and um, when the clinic the doctor had looked at me. They said, you need to go to emergency because I was telling them I was sick. I have no appetite. Uh, within a week, I lost about 10 pounds. Some of you might say, oh, that's great. But um, I, w I wasn't feeling good and I was trying everything. I, I, I did ginger tea. A lot of you had ginger tea. Um, I was doing the green tea. Uh, and, um, and even uh, they had given me something that would, if I just felt sick in my stomach. They gave me uh, medicine to help with that, help with the cough. And I ended up going back to the clinic the second time and they told me, 
go to emergency. And by the time I went to emergency, I started having all this pain in my 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 lungs. I couldn't breathe. And uh, they took me in there and they gave me an IV. And at that time, I just felt like, you know what, this is probably uh, close to the end for me and only God, only God can um, bring me out of this. So I went there and they gave me antibiotics and they told me to, to take um, any pro probiotics and that's for you too. If you have, there's yogurt that has probiotics, you can, I would advise you to take that. That helps to combat uh, the virus. And then also um, any, they have a drink is kabuchi. If somebody can pop, if I'm saying it right, kabuchi. Kabuchi, it's a drink that you take to have uh, antibiotics in it, and um, and so I had I had gone back home with the medicine that the doctor had given me, but it felt like I was not getting better. I was not getting better, and I was crying out to the Lord, and um, I had talked to my sons and. Uh, and just told them, you know, if if I don't make it, y'all take care of each other. And every time I tell the story, I've been telling the story for weeks now. And every time I tell the story, I get emotional because I know I'm only here by the grace of God. I'm only here by the grace of God. And uh, I could not make it to New Hope Missionary Baptist Church. Shout out to my pastor, uh, Dr. Reverend Dr. Robert Jeffrey Sr., who is my pastor at New Hope Missionary Baptist Church. And we were celebrating our church um, uh, service and we were celebrating the, the church anniversary. And I was watching the service live and I was just laying in my bed and I was so sick, I couldn't move. I had no appetite, I couldn't eat. And uh, my muscles and my, my lungs were hurting because they had said when I had gone to the doctor that I had pneumonia. And I never had pneumonia in my life. I've always been healthy. And so that Sunday, I was just laying in my bed and watching the live service at New Hope Missionary Baptist Church. And I had just been praying and praying. And Rose Croon, some of you know Rose Croon, um, wonderful person. And uh, well, by the way, we want to send a prayer to her mother. Um, that her mother will have complete healing and that she will come back home. But Rose Croon began to, to worship and began to sing. And after she would, began singing, the Holy Spirit had came up on her. And when the Holy Spirit came up on her in the service, she just humbled herself and she began to cry out and say, in the church service, she began to cry out and say, God, I'll do your will. I'll do your will, God. I do your will. It's almost like the Holy Spirit was just, just, just uh, all over her. The Holy Spirit was just uh, up on her and humiliating, uh, making her humble under the Holy Ghost. And she was saying, I'll do your will, God. I do your will, God. And when I was laying in my sick bed, I grabbed her spirit. And I began to say, God, I'll do your will. I'll do your will, Lord. I'll do your will, Lord. I knew I was on my deathbed. I knew I was going out of here. I had no idea that the symptoms I had was um, go every. I had every symptom of COVID-19, and had no idea what I was dealing with. But I reached out and I, to her spirit, and I said, "God, I'll do your will. I'll do your will, God." And then Jackie Hardy got on the organ, she was already playing, and she got on the organ and she began to minister. And Jackie Hardy began to say, God, my heart is yours. She began to just sing. And Jackie Hardy, she just began to say, I love you, God. God, I worship you. God, I give you my all. And she just began to worship and minister. And as she was ministering, I felt the peace of God come over me. I'm sorry, you guys, I did not mean, mean to cry. But the peace of God came over me and I felt healing. I felt healing from the top of my head to the sole of my feet, I felt healing. And I felt God began to heal me, began to take away all of the virus, began to 
take it away. And I just said, Lord, I thank you. And I just began to say, Lord, I thank you for my healing. I thank you for my healing, Lord. I thank you for my healing. And I text Jackie and I said, Jackie, I said, I believe I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Because I even texted her earlier and told her I was sick. I said, I believe I'm healed in the name of Jesus through your ministry. And I'm here today. I'm here today because I trusted the Lord. And because somebody, somebody was willing to come out of their selves. Somebody was willing to just give God their all. Somebody was willing to worship God in spite of who was around, was willing to worship God no matter what it looked like. And, and I thank God for that because when we worship God, I got my toilet paper <laughs> because when we worship God, we never know who we are blessing. We never know who it is, whose life is being changed through our worship and through our praise. So that is my testimony um, that God has brought me through. I'm healed. I'm delivered. I have such a determination for God, and I tell everybody that God has given me a second chance at life. You know, and some of the things that we, we worry about, those minor things we worry about, that it's worthless. It's all about the will of God. Are we doing the will of God? And which leads me into uh, our message, and then we're going to pray. But what the Lord has, has given me uh, for today is that we are, we are in shut-in. We are... Um, in, in shutdown, we're, we're trying to protect ourselves from COVID-19. And what about being able to create habits? Habits right now, we're not working, uh, creating habits that, you know, that God says to meditate day and night. Um, you know, create a habit. Uh, it says it takes 21 days to uh, create a habit. I've been reading this book. I don't know if it's, um, you all can read that. Um, it's called the power of habit. Um, this would be a great time to create new habits. Create a habit of, of your prayer life. Start a prayer life. Create a habit of reading your Bible, changing your thoughts. Um, I remember my mom would always pray at 4 o'clock in the evening. She would pray, and that was her, her daily routine. That was her habit, that at 4 o'clock we knew, don't bother mom. She's going to be praying, and uh, she's going to get a, a hold to the Lord. Um, and being able to activate your faith. I want you to know, just because I'm, I'm a preacher, and by the way, I don't think I said my name, I'm Janice Davis Lee. Some of you know me as Suffering of Bishop Janice Davis Lee. I'm a member of New Hope Missionary Baptist Church. That is who I am. I love God. I'm an ordained minister. But I want you to know, regardless of my title, regardless of who I am, my faith is no greater than your faith. God has given us all an equal measure. So if somebody says, oh, I got more faith than you because I'm a pastor. I got more faith than you because I've traveled the world. No, everybody has given an even amount of faith. All it takes is for you to exercise your faith. I remember a time that I needed 70, this was years ago, that I needed $75 for my tuition for the Art Institute of Seattle. And I said, oh my God, where am I going to get the $75 from? Back then, $75 was like $750 today. <laughs> And so I went to church that Sunday night because the money was due on Monday. And when I went to the church that night, the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, praise me as if you have that $75. And I was in the service. Bishop Parche had actually preached that night. Bishop Parche, who's now pastoring down in uh, Florida. And uh, Spirit was moving and the Holy Spirit said, Praise me as if you have that $75. And, and I was in service and people were, were worshiping God. And he said, praise me. And I began to say, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, God, for blessing me with that $75. And I just began to praise God. I said, thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I change, praise your name. And I began to worship God. And when I got home that night, after service that night, 
my sister Catherine Davis Lavelle wrote me a check for $75 and I was able to go to the Art Institute of Seattle because that was the application fee. And so what am I saying to you? Create habits of worship. Create habits of what do you do in the time of tragedy, in the time of, oh, when your back's up against the wall, what habits have you created? I've created habits to where I go to the throne of God. I created habits to where that I will seek the face of God. I have a habit to where that I will not depend on myself, but I will depend on God. So here are a couple scriptures that you would um, like to have. Um, here, I like uh, Romans, the uh, Romans the uh, second chapter the 20 the 12th chapter it says do not be conformed to this world we have all this going on oh we're supposed to be scared we're supposed to be afraid but God said do not be conformed everybody else is afraid but we are standing in the will and the power and the mighty power of God when COVID-19 is supposed to take you out I can call on God when COVID-19 is supposed to take you out God's going to send somebody to worship God's going to call somebody to worship. God's going to call somebody to sing a song of healing and deliverance. So that is a faith that we have in God. We got to create a habit. Do not be conformed to us, but be transformed. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind every day. I've got to say, Lord, I'm going to trust you every day. I've got to seek the face of God. God, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go? Um, that I'll be able to discern uh, the things that are uh, maybe trying to try us that God said we're already victorious and we're getting close to our time. I appreciate all of you. The reason why I'm letting the sun come in because we don't usually get the sun too much in Seattle. So I'm just letting it all oh, just fall on me. And so, um, I hope that all of you can join in that scripture today was Romans 12, the second chapter. And uh, I wanted to also uh, just let you know that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God, that we are uh, to trust God and, and to lean on him. And I tell you, I'm here. I'm here by the grace and the power of God. And so we're going to go ahead and pray. And if there's someone specific um, that you would like us to pray for, go ahead and and text their name in. Oh, hi, Felicia, Sherelle, how are you doing? We thank God. Hey, Betty, Betty and I went to Kimball Elementary. Good to see you. Praise God. Oh, Daneen, uh, good to see you. Yes, we're going to add Daneen to the prayer list. So let's go ahead, everybody. We're just going to go ahead and, and pray in the name of Jesus. But next week, I would like for you all to join me. We're going to be on uh, Zoom, and I'm hoping that, that Jackie can join in and maybe sing a song uh, with us next week week and I uh, hope that you were blessed by my the testimony uh, that God is a healer God is a healer he will deliver you you put your trust in him don't worry about the chaotic things that are going on in the world we have a peace of God that surpasses all understanding so I want to encourage all of you some of you that might have uh, people that are uh, going through uh, sickness I, there's a lot of deaths that we're seeing that we're going through but you know what when it's your time it's just your time uh, I believe that God just said Janice is not your time and I'm so I'm I'm, I'm humbling myself and just seeking God. God, what is it that you want me to do? So one thing I do know, I know how to worship God. I know how to praise God. And I know how to pray. So God, I just thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just thank you for your goodness. And I thank you for your mercy. I thank you, God, because you are omnipotent. You are everlasting. You are the beginning and you are it, the ending. God, you are Jehovah Jireh. God, you are our, our God of all things. God, I thank you for you are the God of Jacob, Abraham, and Isaac. And God, we worship worship you. We put our faith in you that although these, we have these things that are going on in the world right now, God, we're still going to trust you. I pray, God, for all of those that are even in the hospital right now. God, I pray for every weapon, God, that is formed against us will not prosper in the name of Jesus. God, we ask that you go to every country, every every place in, in, in this world, God, that are dealing with this COVID-19. God, that you will be the one to to cause us to still be victorious 
I pray for the children. I pray for those that are in prison, even in prison right now, that are, are trapped and they have no place to go and they're crying out and they're saying, help us, help us. God, I pray that you even send protection and angels upon them. God, those that even have praying mothers, praying grandmothers, God, that those prayers will cover them in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, because it's not our will. God, it's not our will, but God, your will be done. It's not our will, God, but it's your will be done. God, help us to humble ourselves. God, help us to create habits. 21 days, take today and create habits of 21 days, God, that we will create habits to be in, walk in peace, that we will create habits, God, not to walk in anger. God, that we will create habits not to work and, and, and to be spiteful. God, that we will not walk, God, in, in ways that are not of you. God, that we will walk in love, that we will walk in joy, God, that we will walk in liberty. God, I pray for those that are bound today, bound by their past, God, bound by things that were done to them, that were, were will hinder them. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that even through this time, that they will find you, God, that they will find you and realize that, God, that there is truth in you. God, I thank you, God, because you are the beginning and you are the end. You are the first. You are the last. You're alpha. You're omega. You are beginning and you are in. You are the rose of Sharon. God, you are the lily of the valley. God, you are the bright and morning star. You are our deliverer. You are our friend. God, I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Heal the land, God. Heal the land. God, let us hear your voice. Hear your voice, God. Those that have been hindering themselves, those that have been holding back from what you call them to. God, I pray for every pastor. I pray for every pastor, God. I pray for every pastor that's struggling and saying, how am I going to make it? Every pastor, God, that is struggling and saying, do I keep doing this? Lord, I send, uh, I send encouragement. I send encouragement to every pastor. God, I send encouragement to every family. God, even those that are, are single. Lord, I pray, God, that you send comfort to their hearts, comfort to their souls. God, I just pray, God, that even through all of this, God, that your army will be stronger. God, you will never fail. You've never failed. And Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for your goodness and your power. And I just want everybody right now to just say, thank you, Jesus. Just in your homes, thank you, Jesus. And I want you in your homes, if you have anointing oil, I want you to take that anointing oil, anoint your doors, anoint your, just say, Lord, you dwell here. And you dwell here. God, you dwell in my home. And even walk around and just Thank the Lord. Lord, I thank you for my couch. Lord, I thank you for my curtains. Lord, I thank you for my dishes. Lord, I thank you for a bed to sleep in. Go around your house and just begin to thank God. You got time. We all in the home. Thank, begin to walk around the house. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I got to come here. Lord, I thank you. I'm in my right mind. God, I thank you that I'm still in the land of the living. And then said, Lord, I just praise you. I praise you because you're worthy of all all the praise and the honor and the glory and you know what we have one minute left and i want you to know i appreciate all of you that have joined in all of you that have joined in to pray i hope that you are blessed i hope you're encouraged you know and that that god is mighty i love him again i am suffragan bishop janice davis lee i love the lord with all my heart and i'm here because God decided to keep me here, and I'm so glad that God gave me a second chance at life. I love you. Begin to, to continue to support Janice Davis Ministries. We are up to 5,700 people that are supporting this ministry. Praise God. If I can get a dollar from everybody, that would be nice. But anyhow, we just thank God for the great work that he's doing. And also, um, I just want to encourage all of you uh, to join us on Friday, 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 uh, New Hope Missionary Baptist Church. I will be emceeing. <laughs> and then uh, we are going to have seven preachers from all over the country. This is going to be at 12 o'clock noon this Friday. Join us, join us, join us. It's this last seven sayings of Jesus. Join on in and let's worship God. And I love you in Jesus' name. I want you to know you are not alone. You are not by yourself. 
God loves you. He's with you. Don't give up. Don't turn back. Stay strong. Because the worst is behind you. Greater is ahead. I love you in Jesus' name. God bless you. And I love you. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Bye-bye.